looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Is this blood? A detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Never mind. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. Hello, Detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any thoughts? If you ask me, it's one of the... Uh-huh. 
Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana. Maybe later. Good luck, Captain. Uh-huh. The victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? What can you tell me about your residence? Well, Gilda Brosco and Keith McKinney were our first investors. They are both movie stars with very storied careers. Santiago Avida is a world-renowned painter. He joined us shortly after Gilda invested as he was working on a series of paintings of her at the time. Bert and Juliana Riggs are our largest investors in the hotel holding as large a portion as the others combined. Mrs. Riggs comes from old money, lots of investments in natural resources. Mr. Riggs was a researcher for General Atomics on the Robo Brain Project. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. <laughs> <laughs> 